Mr. Holster here, back with another Top 5. Today we're going to look at the movies of Jimmy Stewart. Number 5, The Cheyenne Social Club. Made in 1970, directed by Gene Kelly, starring Jimmy Stewart and Henry Fonda. In this movie, the two play cowboys, and Jimmy Stewart's brother passes in Cheyenne and leaves behind the Cheyenne Social Club, and Jimmy Stewart and Henry Fonda go to Cheyenne so Jimmy Stewart can collect his inheritance, thinking it's a saloon, but when they get there, they find out it's a uh, bordello. <laughs> and in this movie, Henry Fonda really likes pecans, and he keeps cracking pecans and eating the meat out of the pecans. At one point, Jimmy Stewart comes back to, to his business to find that the head girl has been beat up, and he goes into town looking for the bad guy that beat her up and finds him in the saloon, and right as they draw their guns, Henry Fonda cracks a pecan, and the bad guy, thinking someone is cocking a Colt single-action army when that pecan is cracked, turns, and Jimmy Stewart, who's a lot slower, ends up winning the fight. So this gun he's used to do that is the Colt Single Action Army, and that's my number five pick. Jimmy Stewart and the Cheyenne Social Club shooting a Colt Single Action Army. Number four. Number four, a movie I really like because in this movie he rides his favorite movie horse, Pie. In this movie, that horse has a little bell on its saddle, and everywhere Jimmy Stewart goes, you can hear him coming. A mile away and he uses that in the end of the movie by having the horse go into town while he comes in by the back route on foot and all the bad guys think he's coming in on that horse and he surprises them in this movie he uses a Winchester 92 classic lever action gun from the Western the movie from 1954 the far country number three how the West Was Won, 1962. Fantastic movie. Covers a huge part of American history when America conquered the West. Go West, young man. And it starts out with Jimmy Stewart's character as a fur trader in the beginning of the movie. And in that movie, he uses a Kentucky flintlock rifle. Number two, my number two pick, the John Ford classic, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962, starring Lee Marvin, John Wayne, and Jimmy Stewart. And in this movie, Jimmy Stewart plays a lawyer that doesn't know how to handle a gun, and he gets an old Colt 1862 Richards Mason conversion and learns how to shoot. Number one. The number one movie, and I, I bet you know what it is. Yeah. Winchester 73. How could it not be? 1950 movie. The first movie Jimmy Stewart made after the war without being part of the, the movie system. He didn't have a contract with MGM anymore after he came back from the war. And this is the first movie he made that he got a percentage of the profits from in and and it made him rich. Winchester 73, where he shoots, yeah, a Winchester 73. Of course, this movie, he's chasing the bad guy through the whole movie, who turns out to be his brother who had killed his father. And in the, in the course of this, he wins that Winchester 73 in Dodge City, and his brother steals it and just gives him something else to chase him down for. Winchester 73, a classic movie. There you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If I missed any, he was in a lot of movies, and I'm sure I missed your favorite. If I did, just type it in the comments section down below. Thanks for tuning in. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Till next time, from Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe. <laughs> oh, it's almost five minutes of your life this time. Well, it's for Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. <laughs>